Hello, um, good evening to everyone. Can you hear me? Yes, it's here. Okay, um, just give me a moment. I will turn on my video camera, okay? And what? Okay. okay, um, can you hear me? Yes, right? Yes, it's here. So, okay, guys, uh, welcome to um, the video conference that corresponds for uh, tonight, this Thursday. We're going to start with um, the topic that we left yesterday, but before uh, working on it, we are going to be um, working on an exercise. Um, and this is going to be an opening um exercise because uh we are going to be uh working on a on a, a crossword have you ever done a crossword do you know what is a do you know what um crossword is yes no So um, can you hear me? Yes? Yes. Yes, okay, okay. So um, just wait a moment and I'm going to share with you the link that we're going to be using for this crossword, okay? Okay, go ahead. Let's give me a second.
Okay, um, I'm sharing here uh, in my screen right now um, the activity work that we're going to be developing. So, um, and also I'm sharing right now the crossword that we're going to be solving. Um, sorry, uh, tonight. Guys, can you can you share can you uh, see my screen? No teacher. No. Oh. Okay. The thing is here I have a message yeah. and it said that I can share it my screen and, and I don't know what is happening. Sorry for, for that person I was a little bit quiet. I'm trying to solve it. Uh, okay. Um, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, um, here we are. Okay, what about now? Can you can you see my screen? No teacher. Not yet. Oh, okay. Uh, uh, no, no, no. I don't know what's happening. Yes, yes, yes. 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 Uh, you can see it right now. Okay, okay. Yeah, right now. So, um, if you notice here, um, there we have the uh, the crossword that we are going to be solving tonight. This is uh, for advanced level, mm -hmm. so maybe you will find it a little bit difficult, but don't worry. Okay, try to solve the ones that you know. The topic for this crossword is travel and tourism. Okay, travel and tourism. That, that's gonna be the topic. And uh, here, here you have the clues. Um, you have the ones for across and the ones for down. Have you ever done one of these exercises? ¿Alguna vez han, han desarrollado alguno de estos ejercicios anteriormente? Sí, yes, no. Yes, yes. Sí, ok. Bien. Entonces creo que está de más la explicación que pueda darles de las indicaciones de cómo resolverlo. Sí, no es así. Link? Sí, ahorita. Okay. Okay, there you have the link. Okay. And um well, you can go to this web page and start. Ah, you have to click on the bottom that it says click the crossword to begin. Okay? So that oh, there's okay. that's the place that we're going to be uh, clicking for starting with it. Okay? Okay, teacher. Well, you're going to have, I think uh, 10 minutes is enough, but if you need more time, please just let me know. And also if you have any, any uh, question, okay, don't hesitate in, in, in telling me uh, what's your question, okay? So I have a problem with the bottom of the clip, the cross, Craft them to begin. No. Really? Yes, no. No. Oh, no. okay. The, the the thing is the, the thing is that you have to click uh, first. Ah, okay. In uh, you have to, to select the clue first. Ah, okay. And then start. Okay. Right. Writing. Yes. Okay, thank you. Uh, Mr. Lara, are you solving the exercise? Um, yes, I am. Okay.
Nis Castro, is everything okay? I'm trying. You're trying, okay. If you need help, just let me know. Uh, Mr. Rodriguez, everything is okay? Is everything okay? Yes, yes. Yes, okay. That's okay. I have someone that has a, a noun, S-V-N-V-K-R-R-A-H. I don't know who is that person. Hi, uh, it's uh, me, Gansi Sierra. Sorry, I didn't change my name. Okay, Jansi. Okay, okay. Thank you for letting me know. Hey guys, um, do you already do you already finish one of them? Not teacher. Not yet. Not no. yet. <laughs> Only one. <laughs> Only one, two. <laughs> <laughs> Just one. It's a little bit difficult, right? Yes. Just with the clue. But uh, the thing here uh, happened when we have discovered at least two or three because we have like um, in some cases 
the letter uh, that the, the, the next word start. So let's try. The number two is this vehicles form part of a train and carry passengers. Discover which which type of uh, vehicle is that? I, I think it's wagon, but is the space is small that is this level. What you can do is try to uh, look for a synonym of it. I have the number five, the across the paper with a well for a holiday summer. Oh, okay. <laughs> it's only. Okay, um, I will help you. I will help you with something. Um, let's let's see this. Okay, the number one for a down teacher, no affected by development. Oh, okay. Check it out this, I'm going to give you um, uh, a tip. Maybe you can use it. Okay. So you in the, in the, in, in the um, web page, you have a button that it says toggle word list. So there it's going to appear all the words that uh, correspond for each of these um, clues. So try to match them. That, that's what uh, you are going to do. Try to match them with the clue. You see? I don't know if you are, if you are checking in, in, in my screen. Here, here we have the, the button that it says toggle war list. Thank you. Okay. This if the after is correct, the letter is color green, teacher. Yes, exactly. Oh, okay, and okay. now number five is wrong. Number five, it says the perfect weather for holiday. Funny. Yes.
Okay, I, I think uh, we have enough time um, in order to solve that exercise. If you haven't finished, try to solve it in, in your way. So you, maybe later after the video conference, you can complete it all. Um, right now, we are going to move to the topic that corresponds for tonight, that you are going to find, find it in the section number three. In the topic, it says, could you help me out? Okay, guys. Um, first of all, I want to start with a question. Um, when someone asks you a favor, what is your first reaction? Do you help him? Um, sorry, uh, do you help them? Or uh, do you, I mean, in this case, you deny your, your help? They help me. Help, always. Always helping, helping others, always, right? Yeah. Yes, um, but what happened if uh, that favor that someone is asking, it's not uh, something that you may like or you may, uh, or you don't want to be part of it? For instance, uh, what could be your reaction in order to say someone that you don't want to help him or her, um, but without a, like breaking that relationship that you have, maybe it's your friend, but you don't want to help him uh, or help her because um, the things that he or she is doing are wrong, maybe, <laughs> He, he or she is doing something illicit. So what, uh, what's your uh, mood to say that you don't want to help him? You say, look, I don't want to help you because that's wrong. Or, or what's the, the polite way in order to, if we say in that, in that way, what is the polite uh, manner to say that uh, you don't want to help him or her? What could be? We are going to have a discussion here. Before to before going to uh, to the topic, I think I help for um, any person for a good reason, not a bad reason. Uh, if you a uh, person give a uh, help for a wrong thing or a wrong uh, anything, I, I don't know. Is is bad? Is 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 no correct? Yes, exactly, exactly. So that's not correct. But in order to to tell a, a, that person how you do it, sir. Sorry to be a, I can't. Okay, that that's one of the uh, forms that we can say it. Good. Mm -hmm. And what about the others, Mr. Lara, Miss Castro? Who else is here? Eh, Miss Santos? Mm, um, I don't know. I Maybe I, I give, give a good expl uh, explanation. Okay. And I don't know how the, yes, but uh, I can say a polite, a polite form. Um, and can you wait me for a minute? Or I would like to help you, but uh, for a moment I can't. Ah, okay, that's a good one. That's a good one. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's a good one. The, the, the last one is a good one. Okay, I would like to help you, but the thing is I'm busy. Something like that, right? Yes, yes, yes. Yes, yes. Uh -huh. yes. yes exactly. That's, that, that's a good one. What else? Do, do you um, have, have a some? Time? Sorry, sir. What do you say? I don't have a time. I don't have enough time. Okay, that's a good one too. What else? Try to try to think in some other expressions. Uh, maybe um, I couldn't because I'm busy 
or something like that. Okay. That's good. Mr. Hako? I think um, it's for request and a favor in a, a some polite, uh, in, for example, um, could you, could you, um, could you, I don't. <laughs> okay. Um, maybe I can help you. If you if you tell me in Spanish what you want to say, I can help you. Yeah. Okay. Tell me, sir. Um. Ah. Uh, no. Uh, no. Le comprendí. Okay. If you tell me in Spanish what you want to say, I can help you. Okay. Como preguntar, puedes pasar por mí? ¿O podrías pasar por mí? Okay, uh, but, but um, that expression is when you want to help him. But the thing here is what expressions we use when we don't, when we don't want to help uh, that person. La, la idea es aquí qué expresiones utilizamos cuando no queremos ayudarle este a una persona por A o B motivo. Oh, uh -huh. estaba entendiendo mal entonces, ok. Ok. Ok, so, um, the topic... Uh, that corresponds for tonight says, could you help me out? Okay, that, that's the topic, that, that's the main topic. Uh, what we are going to do uh, right now is to watch the video, but we are going to follow the, the, the these instructions, the ones that we have uh, about the video. And it says, watch the video below and take notes. Okay, that's mean that you if you have a, a piece of paper there, your notebook, I don't know, something that something whatever thing you want to take notes uh so uh, you are going to write down there all the favors that are asked which are the favors that uh, will bother you the most and also uh, you are going to then to identify which will bother you the less okay that that's the uh, that's what we're going to take notes there. Those questions. Uh, which one bothered you the most and uh, which would bother you the less? So pay attention to this. Is it, uh, I don't know if it's clear what, what we're going to do. ¿Está claro lo que vamos a hacer antes de reproducir el video? Yes, write the favors. Yes, oh, write the in favors. The video. In the video. Yes, write the favors and also identify uh, what bothers you the most and what uh, bothers you the most. Okay. okay. So pay attention to the video. I'm going to play, play it right now. Just give me a second here. I'm going to share the video, the sound, sorry. Rachel, I am so glad you're home. I was wondering if you could help me out? Yeah. What's up, Anne? I need a big favor. My boss just called and he wants me to go out of town this afternoon to meet with a client. That's great. Yeah, but my parents are out of town too, and my little sister Megan is staying with me. Would you mind if she stayed with you tonight? I could pick her up tomorrow by 10. Uh, no, I don't mind at all. Uh, what time did you want to bring her over? How about now? <laughs> uh, hi, Megan. Did you want to spend the night here? Okay. 
Great, uh, but I have a report to work on tonight. Don't worry, we planned ahead. She brought her homework. She'll keep herself busy. Fantastic. I, I have to run. Thanks a million. Oh, you're welcome. Bye, Meg. Have fun, but do your homework, okay? Don't worry, Anne. I will. What grade are you in, Megan? Eighth. Hey! You've got the Twilight movies. Can we watch them? Uh, sure, but I think you should do your homework first. Okay. Good. Uh, you can work in here. I have some work to do, too, so I'm going to go to my office. Okay. Homework coming. Good. I did half of my math problems. That's good, but you still have some more work to do. You can watch the movie when you're done, okay? Rachel! Yes? I'm done. Is it okay if I watch the movie now? Yes! I'm starving. Can I have something to eat? I, it's only four in the afternoon. So? Um, okay, how about some carrot sticks and an apple? What else have you got? I have some strawberries and whipped cream. Anything else? Okay, how about a pizza? I have one in the freezer. Plain? I think it's a veggie pizza? That sounds good. I love this part. I know. It's so romantic when Edward tells her he loves her. Does he stay with her? You mean you've never read any of the books or seen the movies? No, I was too little. But I'm old enough to understand them now. Can we watch the second movie after this one's over? I have a better idea. <laughs> Anybody home? Good morning. Good morning. What's going on here? We stayed up late reading Twilight. I loved it when Bella first dreamed about Edward. Oh, me too. The part where Jacob appears? Well, we must have watched We ought to get going, Megan. All right, I'll grab my stuff. These books are the best. Would you mind if I borrowed this one? Oh, no, go ahead. Thanks. You two really seem to hit it off. How'd you do it? I guess a good book can still bring people together. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> As you see, uh, th this um, video, it's about um, favors. So, what we're going to do here, as as uh, said at the beginning, we're going to identify uh, which one that um, that. Sorry, just give me a second. Uh, here, okay. Uh, you're going to identify, uh, in the first one, which one bothered the most, and in the se in the second, uh, sorry, the second part, uh, you are going to identify uh, which bother you less okay 
So, according to the video, Mr. Lara, Mr. Lara, are you there? Yes, teacher. Okay, sir. Which one bothered you the most? <laughs> Which one bothered you the most? Okay, uh, sir. Uh, after you watch the video, uh, you are going to identify which favor there uh, bother you the most. Or um, let's let's change this because we, we I think um, we are going to be like repetitive in this in this section. We are going to do the following. Um, can you tell me what are the favor the favor? Sorry. Um, that you don't want people ask to you mm, for example when the miss uh, re request to shy um, down the the audio mm, okay um, the the homework the homework okay yes when when someone asks you hey uh, Help me with the homework. Yes, Something it's like the, the most. Okay, you don't like it. And what favors are you able to do? What kind of favors are you able to do? Mister? Jancy, for instance. Um, what favor I, are you able to do? I, what kind of I favors? Think, oh, sorry, I, Mr. Rivera, tell me. Okay, I finished your homework and then watch the movie. Okay, but that's in the case of, um, of the video, but I changed the activity and I said, according to you, what are the favors that you are able to do and which one uh, you don't like to do? In, in my case, I will I will be able to do um, um, to carry, maybe to carry the, the girl and I didn't I don't like it to do all day because I think that it, uh, the, the girls the favor, it could be for a part time, not all day. The whole day, okay. <laughs> yes. Okay. So, think. Let's listen to Miss Duran. Miss Duran. Yes, teacher. Okay, Miss Duran. Uh, tell me, what are the favors that you are able to do? Just on that. Uh, it in my case, uh, sometimes my my brother. So you take uh, care of your brother, okay? Uh, my brother let me, uh, my brother um, ask me to lend my my car, and I I don't uh, I don't oh. want to <laughs> okay, to you, do. Okay, okay. You don't like when someone asks you to um, where? In this case, your brother asks you to uh, borrow uh, your car, okay. Yes. And what favor are you able to do? Um, Sometime I I ask uh, my co-worker co um, um, thing about uh, the world. Okay. Uh, for example, uh, information or, or any... If someone asks you some information about the work, yes. you're able to explain. Okay, very good. That's good. Okay, someone else wants to share with us something? 
No? So if not, we're going to move to the following part. Um, in this part, it says lesson objective. By the end of this class, you will learn how to make requests with models, if causes, and gerunds. Okay, so um, here we have in this uh, slide, the ones that we're going to watch in the video, um, some of the uh, questions, we're, we're gonna call it requests. Some of the requests that are less formal and the ones that are like more formal. There you have a list. In, all the models that we're going to be using here correspond uh, to, uh, correspond also to the clauses um, that are added in each of the, uh, of the questions, in each of the requests there. And also in some of them, we are going to find the gerunds that, that in this case are, are the ones that are used to name something. Uh, and remember when we talk about gerunds, it's because we have the, like like verbs with the ing form that are, are taken as as a subject. I, I think you remember that, right? But uh, let's play let, let's pay attention to the video, and then we're going to start working on an activity. Hi everyone. By the end of this class, you'll learn how to ask for favors using models, if clauses, and gerunds. The main goal is to learn how to make requests in different forms. So we all make requests to our friends, family members, as well as our manager at work. And the way that we make this request tends to change depending on how we're addressing the person and who we're addressing, right? And the level of confidence that you have with the person. So, for example, if you're asking a very close friend to lend you $5, usually you'll make the request by simply saying, can I borrow $5? I'll pay you back tomorrow. However, if you're asking your manager to give you an extra day off, you'll typically ask by saying, I wonder if I could take an extra day off. And the reason is simple. It's because it's not what you say, but how you say it. It's more likely that if you ask in a very polite manner, you'll get what you want. In certain cases, of course. So that's what we're going to learn today. So let me introduce uh, some structure. This topic, by the way, it's quite simple. Uh, what we want to do is we want to use uh, models. We want to use if clauses and gerunds. So just uh, uh, let me point out what those are. Uh, just a quick reminder, you're probably familiar with this already. Uh, but what are, uh, so what are models? Those are models are uh, those model verbs that you see there, can, uh, could, and also would, right? Uh, and um, if clauses, well, those, those are simply, uh, whenever you see do you mind if, right? Whenever you see this word, that's what we refer to uh, an if clause. Um, and then uh, the last thing that uh, we want to learn there is how to use gerunds to make this kind of request. Uh, and so that's that example that you see there. Would you mind letting me use your laptop? Okay. And what we mean by this is that we're going to use a gerund, right? So would you mind? After would you mind? Um, we're going to have to use a gerund. And I'm going to quickly point that out here in a second. So let me just quickly point out the examples that we see here. So as you can see, we on the left, we see that if I use the expression, can I borrow your pencil? That is something that I will typically ask a friend, someone that I'm very close to, right? So it's uh, uh, an informal way. It's not rude, by the way, it's it's simply uh, the other ways to ask are just a bit more polite. Can I borrow your pencil? Could you lend me a jacket? Is it okay if I use your phone? Do you mind if I use your CD burner? Would it be okay if I picked it up on Friday night? Would you mind if I borrow your digital camera? Would you mind letting me use your laptop? I wonder if I could borrow some money. 
Um, and finally, um, I was wondering if you mind lending me your car. So again, um, these are just different ways that you can ask for things. Uh, and what we want to learn today is how to use all of these different ways, how to use um, models, if clauses, and gerunds to um, make requests, right? So what I will do is I will give you a situation. And so uh, for today's class, the situation is that you want to borrow $20 from a friend. Okay, and then what we're going to do is uh, we're going to, uh, we're going to, uh, make the request uh, using all of the different forms that you see there, right? Uh, it's not to say that you're going to use that with a friend. Usually with a friend, someone that's kind of close to you or very close to you, it, it all depends, you will typically just say, hey, can I borrow $20 from you, right? Um, but uh, as I mentioned uh, previously, if you are asking your boss for an extra day off, uh, usually you'll try to find a more polite way to ask um, for um, that um, so let's let's do the example how, how are we going to do this so well uh, what's the um, less formal way to do it well you can say can I borrow twenty dollars that's quite simple right um, the other way could be could you lend me twenty dollars right so I'm just notice that I'm using um, the model verbs that uh, the words that are in gray that are grayed out that's what I'm using. Um, another way could be, is it okay if I borrow $20? All right. And uh, what could be another way? Well, we can say, do you mind if I borrow $20? Okay. Would it be okay if I borrow $20? Um, and in this case, I quickly want to point out, I, I don't, I'm not sure if you've noticed, but um, in this case, what we did is we changed the verb to the past, as you, guys, as you can see there. And the reason um, is quite simple. Simply, um, whenever we make this kind of request, remember that what we're trying to do is we're trying to sound more polite. So... Uh, by us changing the verb to the past, this makes that request even more polite, right? Now, this doesn't mean that you cannot make the request without changing that verb to the past. You can do that if you want. So you could say, would it be okay if I borrow $20? You don't necessarily need to change that to the past. However, um, we're learning that um, we're going to change it to the past in order to sound more polite, right? Will be another way to say this. Well, we can say, um, "Would you mind if I borrow twenty dollars?" That's another way of, of saying it. Um, and I want you to pay special attention to the next expression: "Would you mind lending me twenty dollars?" So in this case, whenever you see "Would you mind?" the expression "Would you mind?" without the if, right? Whenever you see the expression "Would you mind?" this is always going to follow a gerund so it's always going to follow a gerund would you mind lending me twenty dollars the example that we see uh, in this little chart is would you mind letting me use your laptop as you can see so we had to change the verb let to um, a gerund uh, and let me just point out the other two examples there so those would be i wonder if i could borrow twenty dollars and I was wondering if you mind lending me twenty dollars. Okay, and as you can see, I also um, highlighted this in red because um, after we see the word "mind" or the verb "mind," then this is going to follow uh, a gerund. What I would like for you to do is to make requests with the models, the if clauses, and the gerunds. Uh, so let's say, for example, I, I gave you, uh, these are all situations. Let me just point out that these are situations, okay? Uh, could you lend me some money for a soda? Is it okay if you lend me some money for a soda, right? This is the situation, and what I would like for you to do is to use all of these model verbs 
and all of those if clauses and all of those gerunds that you can see there in order to make those requests. The idea here is to practice. Teacher, your microphone. Okay, thank you, sir. Thank you. Okay, I was telling you that um, we're going to do an activity with this video, um, but because of the time, we won't do it right now. It's going to be a homework activity, okay? So, um, as you see, he create a list of uh, different requests from the less formal to the more formal. Um, and he based uh, just in one sentence. You are the activity for you, it's um, uh, a little bit the same because uh, you are going to create sentences using those requests, the same structure and that he did, um, but you are going to add um, any information you want to uh, put or, or to add, I mean, uh, to those sentences. So, for instance, instead of saying like 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 uh, in the first sentence that he mentioned, rude. By the way, it's it's simply a cold. I'm sorry, this one. Okay, instead of saying "Can I borrow twenty dollars?" you can say uh, like "Can I borrow a laptop?" For instance, and then you start like. Um, and this is just an example, like uh, creating the same sentence or, or la, la, um, the same request using the same information. That's what I what I, uh, that's what I want you to do in this activity. Is it clear what I'm saying, or I think that maybe I'm confusing you? <laughs> I don't know. It's clear, teacher. It's clear. Yeah. Okay, so that, that's uh, the activity. So create sentences using the same information uh, for the same request, but using the structure from less formal to the more formal. After you finish uh, those activities, I mean, those sentences, you are going to send it to the WhatsApp group. And then in there, I will be checking uh, all those sentences. Okay? Okay. This activity is just for practicing. Um, tomorrow, we're going to have classes. Uh, tomorrow is Friday. So uh, remember that uh, this previous uh, Tuesday, I guess. Yes, it was Tuesday, right? Or Monday. I, I don't remember. But the thing is that we didn't receive classes. Monday. So we are going to take classes this coming uh, Friday. So that's me tomorrow. So I will see you tomorrow in the same schedule at A, okay? Um, and you are, you're also going to have to receive a reminder that you are going to uh, join the video conference uh, tomorrow's night, okay? Okay. So, okay, uh, and right now, uh, we, we had finished the video conference because it's, it's night o'clock and um that's all for tonight guys do, do you have that Thank homework you. and i i hope you can uh, send it maybe tomorrow before starting the, the video conference that's okay, thank you, teacher. okay blessings for all of you and have a nice night thank you teacher, okay, teacher. Good, good night, night. Good night. Yes. thank you good, good night. Tomorrow.